Now, yesterday, of course, was President's Day. Favorite president? You know, um, over all of history? Sure. I think that uh, politics ha has moved so far to the right over the decades that if you look at the Republican Party platform from like the 50s, mm -hmm. I am as liberal as they come, but it is to the left of me. The really? Republican Party platform from the 50s. I am so liberal, I would be an Eisenhower Republican. Really? Because politics shift every year, shift further and further to the right. The conservative movement sort of tugs the Republican Party to the right, and the Democrats follow. Um, yeah. And so, you know, if, if Ronald Reagan were running for president today, he would be drafting like Dennis Kucinich to be his, run, to, to be his running mate. <laughs> but politics have shifted so far. Wow. I would not have guessed that. Well, he was against the industrial military complex as well, Eisenhower. That right? was right. His farewell address no, about the okay. dangers of uh, permanent war. Now, this whole thing... The Democrats left the state. Yeah. Uh, this is something I, I find a little confusing. I think a lot of people do. They, they just left. They're gone. They're, they're all the, now, they can't vote without them. Is that it? So well, how they, long do they stay away? I mean, that's the question. How, like, when do you guys start getting restless or bored or something? I mean, they, as long as they're out of the state, then the state law enforcement authorities in Wisconsin can't compel them to go to the state house. And if they don't go to the state house, there's no quorum. There aren't enough people there to vote. And so it can't proceed. Okay, here's my question. Yeah. If the Democrats came back and they voted, would they lose? Yes. Okay, well, is that the will of the people of Wisconsin to be devil's advocate? I mean, if, if they voted this man in, this is what he wanted, uh, the majority of people want this. What they're, what they're saying is the thing that, the reason that they have left is because it is a reasonable demand, no matter how big your majority is, mm -hmm. it is a reasonable demand to say, we want to renegotiate the contracts under which people who work for the state work. It is not a reasonable demand to say, you will never be negotiated with again and we are taking away your rights. Yeah. So for the government, I mean, it's kind of amazing, for the government to say, we the government know best and you guys want to be in a union, we're taking away your rights to be in a union, we're taking away that choice from you, mm -hmm. because the government needs to do what it wants, and you guys are getting in the way. For the Tea Partiers to come in and say, you know what, government does know best. The people ought to lose this right because government needs something here. When did that become a conservative idea? I mean, yeah. talk about a big government. So to see the Tea Partiers here taking the side of the government, taking away the people's rights, uh, I think calls into question the whole idea of conservatism. Well, you know, I always enjoy talking with you.